Hello everyone, it's Michael here from Gold Lotus helping you rethink the way that you learn or teach English as a foreign language using virtual reality. And as you can see here, I'm on my Oculus Quest VR headset, jumping into the uh, browser uh, here of Apart uh, Social Distancing Virtual Gallery by Paradoski. And now, as we always do in these types of videos, it's about analyzing and understanding how you could use this environment to learn or teach English as a foreign language better. And you can see some text in front of me here. So you could get students initially just reading what this whole virtual gallery is about. You could uh, even get them talking a little bit just initially about some of the colors they see around them. You could step inside as well, the sign that you can see on the wall. But um, as you can see, the weather's quite nice outside and you really get a do, you do get a good sense that you are actually standing inside a real virtual gallery. Um, and uh, walking over here to this wall, you can also see some uh, different locations of the different exhibits or photos, uh, pictures on offer. And you could start the students as well, kind of uh, understanding a bit more about how they might uh, give or take directions uh, in a place like this, which is, of course, a key thing that one would need to do in the real world, wouldn't it? Uh, asking how to get from A to B. But we're stepping inside here, this kind of sphere or dome with uh, some videos that have been really nicely put together by the staff at Paradovsky. And uh, this project, I think, raised almost uh, $5,000 uh, for charity. Uh, and we walk outside now and you can see a wall full of beautiful faces. And again, from a language learning perspective, you might want to get people describing things like this lady's hair, glasses, facial features. Also, this next person here to the left of that previous video and this final lady here with this straight hair comparing to the curlier hair of the first lady. So, um, you know, simple things like that. It's just kind of opening your eyes a little bit to how you might go about using these virtual spaces, not just to, you know, improve people's understanding about various topics in life in general, but of course the linguistic terminology, the lexis and even pronunciation as well um, of English as a foreign language. Uh, we've got some apostrophes here. Let's stay home. Ask the student what are apostrophes about? When do we use them? And if we get a closer look here at this uh, sign on the wall, you've got some more apostrophes after the S with friends and families. Well, it's a plural noun, so you need to put an apostrophe after it if it's talking about uh, something possessive. Uh, we've got some more photos on the wall. Of course, in many exams, you do need to describe photographs or even compare two different photographs. So this is a great place to try to um, stimulate that that type of thinking and get students practicing in an engaging context surrounded by bubbles what they might want to say in an exam situation. Let's just peer around the corner here. What can we see? We have more photos, more exhibits. Let's go and take a look. Different colors, deep oranges, bright colors, uh, bright yellows on the walls. So we could talk about colors. We've got some clouds rising above our heads here. So that could even introduce the topic of weather. You've got a kind of uh, American vintage uh, or 1960s dining room with some music here. You can have a little boogie or dance and get students talking about whether they like eating in public places or what type of music they like listening to. As you can see, there's lots and lots to get your teeth into here with regards to conversation, but also more specific topics in English or any other language for that matter. You know, look, I'm using this to teach English as a foreign language, but there's nothing stopping you using this to teach French, Arabic or German. Um, so there we go. We're, we're back to where we started. Just uh, use these environments like this on your browser. And I will underline that point. You can use this on your browser. You do not need a VR headset. You can access this through any device, phone, laptop or PC. Go and have some fun and let's all learn a foreign language.